Today's question, what are PPOs and HMOs? The simple answer is they're different types of plans for different types of people. Let's say Gina needs health insurance. If she selects an HMO or health maintenance organization, she may end up paying lower premium payments and have lower copays for services. With an HMO, Gina will choose her primary care physician from a list of participating doctors. Gina's doctor will help manage her health care for her. For example, the HMO network includes specialists, and Gina's doctor will refer her to one of these specialists when necessary. And, unless it's a true emergency, she'll have to stay within the network list of providers, like doctors, hospitals, and specialists, to receive coverage. With a PPO, or Preferred Provider Organization, Gina has more choices when it comes to selecting providers, and she can go to a specialist without a referral and still be covered. But she pays more for that right. She might have higher premiums and probably will have a deductible, which is the amount she has to pay before getting coverage. That is, except for preventive care like her annual physical that will be fully covered. A PPO gives Gina a wider variety of health care options, and she doesn't have to designate a primary care physician. To sum it up, HMOs offer smaller premiums and a list of participating providers you can work with. PPOs cost a little more and encourage you to stay within a network, but give you more options for doctors, hospitals, and other medical providers than an HMO. So now you know. Until next time, stay smart and stay healthy.